So how many of you guys go outside your comfort level? I posted some time back a uh, homeowner with a ductwork with water flowing through it. We'll attach some picture here and we can still see, get you down here, you may see some of the water. It's still in the ductwork. You see all that, but there's not as much before. You can see this eight inch ductwork, the water stains about three inches up the side as we pumped it out for many days. The water just kept on coming in, so we knew we had bigger problems. So what we found out investigating here on a whole about 25 year old house, uh, weeping tiles that were never done right, um, around the foundation comes up into, I'll show you here, into the sump pit. The water doesn't like to flow uphill. It comes uh, up there, uh, comes up about two feet into it, which means Weeping tiles were all below the ductwork, but the water table is about the same height of part of the ductwork, which is why we've got water. We had three, four inches of water earlier. Water table was dropped a little bit. Now we're down about two inches. Um, so we are going to be changing that bit. We have the, the radiant bit. heating system using the infrared to know where our tubes are at. Will it be close to the pit? Or are we going to cut into a pit? into a tube cutting the pit in. Everything here looks like we'll clear except for that one line right there. And we marked our floor. It's a black marker where our lines are at. We've we'll had some fun today excavating down there. Get my finger right. And a whole bunch of buckets over here. And a lot more to go. Flip you guys around here, hopefully. Nope, it just won't flip you around. Okay. <clears throat> you can see the drainage tile snorkels up, which means the drainage tile can't drain until it's completely saturated. See the groundwater we've already pumped out once is coming back. <clears throat> we'll replace this whole pit here. It's all fixed now. Well, day two of replacing the sump pit. Our buckets from last night. We have our extra large pit there to go in. More buckets to fill. And of course, the sump pit. And again, you cannot have water go uphill into a sump pit. So our water table has always been right about here. Which puts you about halfway into your ductwork. Well, day three. Lots of buckets here. Lots of buckets. Gravel, clay, dirt. New uh, pit. And the pit dug down. Four and a half feet. <clears throat> and all the fun stuff we have out here. Gotta go back in. Well, day five. I look terrible, a little beat up, long hours. So, <clears throat> see we got some empty buckets. Some leftover uh, material. Obviously, because we went deeper. <clears throat> the pump's gonna be get ready to put in. Oh, we have to modify the piping yet to put a deeper hole. There's our deep sump pump. And very little water rolling in there now. Now it's had a few days to dry up. <coughs> so, been a long journey here. I'm going to take you down here and show you that the duct work is now dry. No more water. It does need to be cleaned yet. That'll be another day. So, uh, go way above and beyond HVAC. Job got done. See you guys around real soon.